I think we have a history and a culture of innovation and creativity. Uh, certainly in popular music, which is an area obviously Sony Music uh, specialise in. Uh, a heritage from the Beatles and the Stones. We've often taken what maybe the US have initiated and we've developed and improved and put our own particular songs on it and then managed to sell it worldwide. And considering the size of this market, we massively overpunch our weight in terms of delivering globally. I think one of the biggest things with Britain is that we've always been short of natural resources, except for people. And with that shortage of natural resources, we've had to be creative to try and sort of develop the country. I mean, a lot of other countries have got a lot of space, a lot of resources, so we've had to be a bit smarter. And I think that it's the mothership of uh, invention for us to do that. And we've expect, exported that all around the world. Um, through whether it's about our music, our culture, design, art, technology. And so Britain as such, I think, is seen around the world is that creative hotbed. I think we do uh, high quality work is one thing, but actually we're very innovative in what we do. And I think that as a, quite a multicultural society now, we're very good at uh, looking at adapting work and actually producing things that's, uh, that are actually interesting all around the world, actually. And I think that's really helped to, uh, to, to drive popularity of our creative industries uh, all around the world. The the UK has a tremendous strength in the creative industries, be that music or you know, in, in the sector that I'm involved in, which is television. Um, for example, Strictly Come Dancing, which is familiar to UK audiences here, is sold to over 40 territories around the world as Dancing with the Stars. And so format sales in television, both through the BBC, ITV, Sky and other indies, is an absolutely vital creative export for the United Kingdom.